you have to understand that actually invention is in the black tradition. If you look at the greatest uh, mentors in, the, in our history, many of them are black. Maybe even most are black, but they don't get the credit for that, for the work that they do. Lewis Latimer, the reason why we, the light bulbs work in this building is because of Lewis Latimer, who actually was the person who invented the light bulb, but the light bulb that actually worked. The, the first light bulb lasted for about five seconds, and then afterwards, when he invented the light bulb, that actually lasts a long time. And it's the basis behind the light bulbs that we have right now. If you look at, then he actually went to uh, work with um, Alexander Graham Bell to help him with what's going on with his uh, with the telephone. And so the telephone and also the light bulb actually owes its success in many ways to Lewis Latimer. The concept of the real McCoy, we use the term real McCoy, at least I used to use, use the term real McCoy. And it's because the uh, McCoy at the turn of the century was so prolific as a uh, patenter that uh, they call the real McCoy. That was a black man. So there's a great black tradition in terms of inventorship. And I think people should know more about that because that would inspire people to, to go in the area. Also, they'll mention someone who maybe doesn't have the fame of, of a Lewis Latimer, but your mother. Well, she was an extraordinary woman, class of 1950 from Meharry. I think she was one of two women in their class. And then went to North Philadelphia and opened a practice. The first floor of, her, of our house was her office, and the second and third floor was where we lived. And, um, and inside of her practice, she was a family medicine doctor, she had a, a laboratory in the back where she did experiments and taught us. And that's that from an early age taught us uh, how to, to work in the area. That's why all of us are, all my, my siblings are physicians and physician scientists because of that and because of that tradition. Um, and it really shows what can, what can happen with, uh, with one person uh, devoted to teach people in science. For folks, teachers and students who might not, who might be interested in regenerative engineering, limb and tissue regeneration, where do you think uh, teachers could teach about that in school? I mean, in addition to biology and engineering classes? Well, we, we've decided that we want to have regenerative engineering known by everyone. So I started something called the Regenerative Engineering Society. And you can go on the website for the Regenerative Engineering Society. And it should be, it's the first society that everyone can join. It costs $20 under 20. So if you're a third grader or a fourth grader and you want to learn about regenerative engineering, you can join the Regenerative Engineering Society. We publish a journal, Regenerative Engineering and Translational Medicine, and it's very, very unique. Every paper has a lay summary written at the eighth grade level. So everyone can read about science in terms of the area. And then, of course, I have a summer program called Aspire, a summer program in regenerative engineering for high school students that people can apply for. Um, they have to be in Connecticut, uh, but it's a summer program in the area. So, uh, but across the country, this area of regenerative engineering has now spread. There's a regenerative engineering center now at Penn State, regenerative engineering center at Northwestern. I, I, I wrote a paper 12 years ago saying we need a new field, and now we do have a new field. So there are regenerative engineering places all across the country. Do you think um, we should be teaching more about IP in school and protecting ideas? Well, I think it's, it's very, very cool to understand how you can invent something and then protect it. And then one day you may be able to get, you know, paid for it in terms of the work that's there. So I think it's a, it, it'd be great. And we've got some very, very good representatives here at this meeting who are, who are into IP uh, who would be great to be able to teach young people about it.